Hey guys, Reverend Hellbilly here. So today in Guitar News, I'm bringing you this picture of this guitar. This is Dorothy. Now, in 2013, here in Illinois, we had a massive EF4 tornado go through a town down south, right across from Peoria on the river called Washington. Now Washington was completely destroyed by this EF4. It was a huge tornado, one of the hugest tornadoes that have ever touched down. There's a special on the weather channel and stuff. So, this guitar went through that tornado, and a young man, TJ Duck Wilder, he, when he went outside after the tornado had passed, he found this guitar laying on the ground. Well, he did some stuff, you know, people were putting things on Facebook and stuff. When he found the owners of the guitar, it was her grandfather's guitar. He had long passed away, but it was a 1952 Gold Top Les Paul. One of the first, probably 100 of these ever made. So it was a pretty special guitar. I don't know. She seemed indifferent. She didn't take it back from him or whatever. You know, it was out of the case. The neck was broken, blah, blah, blah. So she let him hold on to it. Well, he got in touch with um, Jared James Nichols on Instagram. And he showed him pictures of the guitar and told him the story. Okay, so the long and the short of this is that TJ gave the guitar to Jared to do a, I don't know if you'd call it a restoration. It's not really a restoration because they're not restoring the guitar, but they're bringing it back to its playing. You know, they're going to fix the neck. They're going to do a Brazilian fret. They're going to do it like it should have been, like it should be done, you know, bringing it back to where it was originally and making it a player's guitar, which is pretty cool. Now, you know, I don't live far from where this hurricane, uh, tornado, I'm sorry, happened. Um, Jared James Nichols, he is from Wisconsin, like right over the border in Wisconsin, right by Alpine Valley. Alpine Valley is where Stevie Ray played his last gig and he got on a helicopter and then it crashed. So Alpine Valley is an outdoor concert venue. He grew up right near there. And he was a big Stevie Ray Vaughan guy who turned into a Les Paul guy. Yeah, whatever, you know. No harm, no foul. I was a big Gibson Les Paul guy who turned into a Strat guy. It happens. So but so he's going to restore this guitar and bring it back to a, a player, um, you know, so it can be played, which, I, I mean, that's how I'd like to see it, you know, the guitar to actually be played, you know. Um, it's a real shame that one of the first 100 Les Pauls ever made is in this shape, but a tornado, what can you do? It's not like someone, you know, just left it laying and somebody kicked it over. Um, you can see there's a little bit of the neck left inside the pocket, so I think that's probably a pretty good thing. The body seems to be pretty solid. Three of the four knobs are still on the guitar. Tailpiece is gone, but, you know, it was a trapezoid tailpiece. I don't know what they're going to do with that. I'm sure they're going to just keep it back to that. So I wanted to bring you this story because it's amazing that this guitar went through that tornado that was the worst tornado ever you know here in illinois that i can ever remember in my lifetime and uh yeah it was devastating but this is something cool that came out of it i'm going to follow the story i'm going to follow this guitar and i'll keep you informed to keep you in the loop on what's going on with it as they get it finished again uh jared james nichols he's on instagram you could go follow him on instagram he's a really good you know blues rock guitar player i really enjoy his playing so it's cool that he got this guitar and that he's trying to bring it back to where it should be. All right? Hey, I'm the Reverend Hellbilly. This is Guitar News. If you like cool stuff like this, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Smash the like button. Do all that cool stuff for me. I really appreciate it if you do. And I'll try to keep bringing you really cool stuff like this, okay? All right, cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend.